Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. You now have the option of focusing on user-based metrics in your Google Analytics reports. This means that instead of sessions being the primary metric you see in your reports, you can now switch to user metrics. Enabling the user metrics in your reports will mean that your data will more accurately reflect the actual number of individuals or real people accessing your website. Let's jump into Google Analytics and take a look. Head to the admin section and select property settings in the center column. If you then navigate to the bottom of the page, you'll see an option to enable users metrics. Once enabled, your reports will focus on user metrics. Now you're probably thinking, great, but what does this mean? So before we enable the option, let's head into the standard reports. Here we're in the audience overview report and we can see it includes session based metrics. We can see sessions, pages per session and other metrics in the report. Now let's head into a reporting view that already has the user metrics option enabled. Here we can see the first metric is now users followed by new users and we can also see number of sessions per user along with some of the metrics that were there previously. Now if we head into the channels report under acquisition, we can see that the report is also ordered by the number of users instead of sessions. So by enabling the user metrics, we'll be more focused on the actual number of individuals accessing our website. It's a better reflection of our actual audience members, but it's not perfect. Why you ask? Well, mainly because people use multiple devices when they engage with us online. They might start searching on their mobile and convert on their laptop, or find us on their tablet and then perform further research before converting on their mobile. But enabling this option does help us become more focused on real people and not just sessions. To enable the metrics, we can head back to the admin section and enable the option for our reports. Now the important thing to understand is that because a user can engage with multiple marketing channels, you might find your user numbers are slightly different depending on the report you're using inside Google Analytics. And sampling can also impact the user numbers you see in your reports. So get started and enable the option and start using the reports with a focus on users instead of sessions. So that's how you can enable the user metrics inside Google Analytics. By moving to user-based metrics in your reports, you'll have a better understanding of the number of real people accessing your website. It's not perfect, but it's a great step forward in evolving the way you use and interpret your data. Have you enabled the user metrics inside Google Analytics? I'd love to know, so let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.